Have you ever heard of demon face syndrome? Join us as we journey into the chilling world of a rare and mysterious condition that leaves its victims haunted by terrifying hallucinations. Demon face syndrome, also known as prosopometamorphopsia, is an extremely rare neurological disorder that causes human faces to appear distorted in shape, texture, position, or color. Imagine waking up one morning and suddenly everyone's face looks like a creature from a horror movie. For those with syndrome, facial features may seem droopy, discolored, oddly textured, or even shifted to different parts of the face. It's like having the devil right in front of you. A person, who was diagnosed with PMO, described his roommate's face as something out of a Star Trek movie, resembling a demon face. The corners of the mouth and eyes were pulled back, ears were pointy, and deep grooves appeared on the forehead. However, when he looked at faces in photographs or on screens, they appeared completely normal. From ancient folklore to modern scientific inquiry, the phenomenon of demon face syndrome has captivated researchers and storytellers alike. Researchers have now digitally recreated what warped faces look like to someone with that syndrome, shedding light on this mysterious condition. Prosopometamorphopsia is a visual disorder characterized by altered perceptions of faces. When someone experiences this condition, facial features appear distorted in various ways, including drooping, swelling, discoloration, and shifts of position. It's important to note that prosopometamorphopsia is distinct from prosopagnosia, which is the inability to recognize faces. Approximately 75 cases of prosopometamorphopsia have been reported in scientific literature. Here are some key points about prosopometamorphopsia. Presentation. Faces tend to appear distorted to individuals affected by this condition. While they can still recognize faces normally, they perceive them as strangely disfigured. These facial hallucinations are often described as having prominent eyes and teeth, and some patients even liken the distorted faces to having a cartoon-like quality. Causes. The definitive cause of prosopometamorphopsia remains unknown. However, it has been associated with damage or abnormalities in various brain areas, including the temporal, occipital, parietal, and frontal lobes. Some cases have been linked to epilepsy, and functional imaging studies have identified specific brain regions that may play a role in this condition. As of now, there is no specific cure for prosopometamorphopsia. This condition remains a challenging area for medical research, and treatment options are limited. However, some strategies may help individuals cope with the visual distortions caused by prosopometamorphopsia. 1. Awareness and education. Understanding the nature of the condition can be helpful. Knowing that the distortions are not real and are a result of altered perception can reduce anxiety. 2. Vision rehabilitation. Working with a vision therapist or rehabilitation specialist may improve visual processing and adaptation. Techniques such as eye movement exercises and visual training could be explored. 3. Compensatory strategies. Individuals can develop compensatory strategies to recognize faces despite the distortions. These might involve focusing on specific facial features that remain relatively stable or using contextual cues. 4. Support groups and counseling. Connecting with others who experience similar visual distortions can provide emotional support and practical advice. Counseling or therapy can help individuals manage any distress related to the condition. 5. Medication. Some cases of prosopometamorphopsia have been associated with epilepsy. Treating the underlying epilepsy with anti-epileptic medications may indirectly improve the visual symptoms. 6. Research and clinical trials. Researchers continue to investigate the underlying mechanisms of prosopometamorphopsia. Participation in clinical trials or studies may contribute to advancements in understanding and potential treatments. Remember that each individual's experience with prosopometamorphopsia is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. Consulting with a neurologist, ophthalmologist, or other specialists is essential for personalized guidance and management. If you or someone you know is affected by this condition, seeking professional advice is recommended. Thank you for watching.